Hey everybody, greetings from 3D Shaker, the best place for your Blender assets. Thanks for purchasing our products. This tutorial will explain you how to download and install our assets. How to use Blender Asset Browser. How to link and append them properly. And also how to understand proxies in our assets. First, download and installation. Here we are in 3D Shaker section in Blender Market. As you already bought some of our assets like Furnishing, Blender Trees, or any other, you will be able to access and download all of them in your account tab. So go to upper right corner, click on your account. Click on Orders. Go to Downloads and here you'll see all of your purchased products, on the right side you'll see all the files ready for download. Just click on that files, and they'll start to download automatically. Once download is complete, go to your download folder and you'll see all your downloaded zip files, select all, and extract them in whatever folder in your computer, where you would like to have those assets to be saved. Open up your Blender. Go to Edit. Preferences. On the left side, choose File Paths. Go to Asset Libraries tab. Here's the place where you can add your assets. Click on the plus icon and search for that folder where you have extracted your downloaded assets. Click on that folder and hit Add Asset Library. You see, it's now appearing here, so it is properly installed. Sure, you are able to rename it as you like. Then go to left bottom corner and click Save Preferences and close the window. Now we're gonna to explain you the Assets Browser User Interface. Have your Blender viewport open now. To open up the Asset Browser, Click on this icon and select Asset Browser. Wait a little while until all the thumbnails will be loaded. It might take a while at first time, but once loaded, every time you open Blender again, it will load the assets almost instantly. Clicking the menu on left side, you have access to all of your folders with installed assets into your Asset Browser. We have here example of installed Blender trees and furnishing assets. Once you selected the assets you would like to use, you can see, there are two main categories. Append and Link, which we will explain them later. You can expand those categories and you will see many different subcategories by which our assets are sorted to help you find and filter the exact asset you need much quicker and easier. On the right upper side you can find Search Bar, which is another option to quick filter out the assets by keywords you type in. By clicking this icon, you can change the size of the asset's thumbnails also for your liking. You hit N key you will see tab appearing, where you can see the path to blend file, where is that specific asset saved. You also can see added tags to assets, if there are any assigned, which are the keywords used for searching and filtering assets in search bar. On the top middle part you can choose the insertion type into your scene for chosen asset. Here are displayed few of them, which we will explain further in this tutorial, but the most important to know for now are link and append. So how you actually have to insert the assets into your scene, Let's split this window to reveal the viewport, where your scene is shown. To add an asset, you just have to click on your chosen item, hold and drag and drop it into your scene. Perfect, you're done. Pending and linking our assets is quite easy. But you have to keep in mind this. If you're appending some asset, you have to select append in upper menu and also you have to browse and choose assets from append section in left side catalog. The same holds for linking assets too. If linking, select link in upper menu and choose assets from link section. Let's put one appended and one linked asset into our scene. So choose append in upper menu. Then click append section on the left side catalog. Click on asset, drag and drop it into scene. As you can see, while dragging and hovering your appended asset, it will snap on surfaces nicely. Now select link in upper menu and link on left side catalog. Select Asset and drag and drop it into Scene. Linked Asset isn't snapping on surface, compared to Appended 1. You have to snap it on surface manually. With assets, linked and appended, you can move, scale, and rotate freely. The main difference between them is, if you click on Appended Asset, you'll have full access to its materials and other properties, so you are able to change them right in your scene very easily. Let's do some quick changes in Leaves Material. If you click on Linked Asset, as you can see, there is no Material tab present, so you are not able to change its properties right in Scene. Linked Assets are only referencing and reading the data from Source Blend file, where the asset is located. 
Change the linked asset properties. You have to access its source blend file by right-clicking on the asset in Asset Browser and choose Open Blend File. It will open the asset source blend file. Now here we in and we have full access to its properties and materials. So let's change the color of the leaves also. Once done, just go to the file and hit save. Close the window. Now you are back in your scene. Just to be sure, save this scene. Then go to file and hit revert. It will reopen the scene and reload all the linked assets. Turn on the rendered preview. As you can see, Blender recognized you've made changes in asset and now it is displaying changed asset in our scene. Very important note. If you do change properties in linked asset, in its source blend file, those changes will also appear in every project, where this asset is linked to. If you do changes in appended asset instead, those changes will be present in your scene you're working on only. Any other scenes, where this appended asset is used, won't be affected by this change. When use linked and when appended assets. Use linked when you are working on huge and complex scenes. In animations as our linked trees are fully animated. Linked assets are for users who prefer faster workflow. Blend file with linked assets will consume much less disk space. You'll benefit from very responsive viewport and by few clicks you can change the asset across all scenes. Some cons are, linked assets won't snap on surfaces, compared to appended ones. To change asset properties you have to change them in asset source blend file. Pack resources won't pack your linked assets. Use appended assets in less complex scenes. Or if you need to change their properties right in the scene often. Use them if sending and sharing your work is important to you. Appended assets offer you great on surface snapping, instant asset changes inside your scene, and pack resources will pack all your assets into Blend 2. Using appended assets in huge scenes may freeze or crash your viewport. Blend file with appended assets may consume up to several gigabytes in huge scenes. Please consider these points while creating your scene. In our tree assets for linking, we are using proxies. They are designed for huge exterior scenes while maintaining fast, responsive viewport. If you already link some of our trees in your scenes, you may notice the difference in their appearance in viewport and rendered result. Here is the same tree. On the left, it's how you will see it in your viewport. It's proxy version with around 100,000 vertices. Here on the right, it's how you will see it in your final render. 1 million vertices. So a huge difference for your viewport. How it works is actually quite easy to understand. Let's jump into this tree source blend file. Let's turn off these just for now. Every time you're linking a tree, in fact, you are linking this entire collection. It contains the same tree in two versions. This is proxy. As you can see, it will be visible in your viewport only, but won't be rendered. This is the detailed version, it will be not visible in viewport, but it will be rendered in your final shot. Linking and appending difference. If you're linking your assets, Blender under hood is linking this entire collection. If you are appending assets, Blender is only appending these meshes instead. Appended trees are in not animated, as it will slow down your viewport significantly. For animations, use linked assets instead. However, while linking from your asset browser, you won't see them in your viewport moving while playing animation because of proxy. But in final rendered animation, you will see the leaves and branches moving and bending in soft gentle wind. And that's how our assets works. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you and see you next time.